So we're in Clovis, California. We're just draining down a water heater real quick to try and flush out some of this debris. You can see it's almost empty now. It's just just barely trickling out right there. So tank's almost empty. And so what we're going to do is go ahead. Uh, what we did to start with is uh, we shut off the water, cold water to the unit. And we put the burner on pilot so it wouldn't relight uh, while we were draining this tank down. So it's empty now. And you can see we're on pilot right there. Got it drained down. It's a newer, uh, it's not completely new, but it's in excellent shape. I mean, you can look at it and it looks, it looks like it just came out of the box. So no problems with it, no problems with the drain assembly. Uh, that's in good shape. We got it open. There's no dripping spraying, which is, you know, happens a lot with the plastic drain valves. Up top, uh, the only issue we have up there is we've got uh, an existing shutoff valve. It's a multi-turn uh, shutoff valve. We don't like them. We don't use them because they leak. So as soon as we started to shut this guy off, um, the packing nuts started leaking up out of here. So when it was about halfway closed, we went ahead and put a wrench on here, backed it off a little, tightened it up a little. So when we get this turned back on, what we're going to do is uh, check it, make sure it's not dripping. We did pop off the relief valve but we cannot see the termination of the line anywhere. We don't know where it goes. It could be under slab going out to one of the side yards, but we can't identify where it is. The main reason why is we wanna make sure that this uh, closes all the way. If it doesn't, you'll always have water bleeding out of this line and losing water out of the tank. So uh, we'll look a little bit further to make sure that we, you know, we can find that. A little bit of corrosion here at the tank, you can see right there. Um, I'd pay attention to that. Looks like you got something going on, you know, as far as uh, water beginning you can see the whitish color that scale starting to build up and then of course the corrosion here it's just the beginning of something it's nothing critical but this always leads to something more it'll start to weep which it, which is doing it's weeping just a little bit of water but it's immediately it's so little that it's immediately just rusting drying and then calcifying here on the nut and then just uh, turning orange here on the nipple stubbing out and the reason why is you've got copper supply lines on iron pipe stub outs. That's a no. Uh, copper and iron pipe are not compatible. We use stainless steel. A lot of folks do now. Uh, they still sell these. I don't like them. Uh, and then, of course, back here, I don't have a light, but you can see the calcification here going on uh, both at the nut from the supply line. Not real bad, but a little bit. And then, of course, up here, the calcification, that's the white color. And then the rust color you can see around the thread, that's the beginning of something, too. And it's just specific to iron pipe. We use brass uh, on all of our uh, connections. We also use uh, just quarter-turn ball valves for the shutoff valves instead of the multi-turn. It eliminates a lot of the issues. So we'll end... Looking at this right now, that's bad. Uh, I just missed this, but this was not installed by us. You can see they kind of came up and around and back in. But right here, it's not connected to the draft diverter. So you're, um, you're partially venting into the garage. So as, as fuel is burned down below, it comes up through here, comes up to the top through the draft diverter. It's supposed to go up through this little uh, thin pipe up into the attic where there's a, a double uh, wall pipe, dual wall B vent. And you can see this isn't installed correctly. So it's up off the side. And uh, I don't know how much gas is getting in here, but that's not correct. So anyways, um, just wanted to document a little bit about what we're doing this morning. Outside of that, um, this service call is done.